product code ratio 101, 10 pins decoder, the classical model, Ford, Rover, Jaguar and Volvo. Every decoder comes with um, two reset tools within such a box. Decoder, reset tools, tester key. No tester key with this model, so this will remain empty. Now, the decoder has three main wheels. This is called turbo wheel. Whenever you turn it left and right, you can see four pins going up and down on one side and six pins going up and down on the other side. So 10 in total. Here and here, every decoder has an indicator. The indicator when being compared with this graph here positioned on the gate, which I'm gonna talk about in a few moments. Uh, this indicator measures the pumping or how much the pins move up and down. Now, uh, every decoder has two opening, not every, but this specific model has two uh, opening methods, progressive opening and direct opening. Progressive opening mean, means that the indicator must hit or must reach the first stop point 15, 20 times. So you keep on pumping on the first. The, the pins move until a point, but because you have no idea what the code is, maybe that will be enough to open the lock. If it's not enough, you proceed until the second stop point, increasing the amount of pumpings, again, 15, 20 times. Finally, until the third stop point. So progressively, you reach the maximum point of pumping. The second option is from all the way to the right, which is the starting position, directly until the third stop point. This is the fastest way, but uh, it's uh, in the beginning it's risky uh, because you know those locks the locks on the cars have never been opened before so you risk over pumping but both methods are fully fully applicable some locks will be opened only with direct opening some locks will be opened only with progressive opening so both methods must be applied okay this here the middle uh, wheel here is called a gate the purpose of the gate is to protect the pins and the blade. When the gate is fully open, the pins are visible on both sides. When the gate is closed and the turbo wheel is fully to the right, this is what we call safe mode. But not only this closed, but this also to the right. In this mode, you reset through those three, uh, three, uh, <clears throat> I mean six, and those four in safe mode by always holding the gate close you insert in safe mode you extract if this is opened and you try to insert inside the lock you will break uh, you will you know get stuck the decoder will get stuck inside the lock probably you will break it or you will at least damage it so always closed always to the right whenever you reset whenever you insert whenever you extract and always hold it like this uh, okay, finally, this is what we call tension wheel. There is a small tolerance movement, which smoothens the amount of tension you're about to apply. So this is normal for every decoder. It moves like this, the tension. Tension here, uh, like on every decoder, tension is everything. If your tension is not good enough, uh, the lock won't be open. Uh, the default procedure is once to the right, once to the left. So this is how you start, but then don't forget that you have the options of only to the right. So you reset, you start all over again and start right, right tension, right tension, and you choose whether it's gonna be progressive opening here, 15, 20 times on every stop point or direct opening. You also have the options of only to the left. So you start all over again, reset, only to the left. So those things matter. Yes, tension is very important, but direction of the tension is also extremely, extremely important. Uh, so if you have no experience, I suggest you practice on lock, on locksmith vice, and then give it a try. Okay, uh, I will emphasize on the pins because as you can see, I hope you can see, the pins, they have those slits, those small holes that go right through each and every pin so the reset procedure must always be performed carefully because sometimes whenever you go and insert the reset tool straight on top you cannot fully fully reset so always with uh, cautious there 
always be cautious there. Okay, so it's time for us uh, to start the procedure. So safe mode, close the gate, fully turn to the right. Grab one of the two reset tools, suitable for H101 and H83. Grab the decoder like this. And now I will put a little bit of an angle like this whenever I reset to make sure I fully reset each and every pin. Six on one side, four on the other side. And now I will open the gate to check if the pins are reset. This side is okay and this side is okay also. Okay, so it's time to insert. Again, safe mode, close and fully to the right. Now here, uh, sorry, left side driving, Cars like UK, Australia, South Africa are always with six holes pointing up. Right side driving cars are with four holes pointing up. Standard European positioning is this. Uh, okay, so close fully to the right. I'm going to show it with the six holes pointing up. I hold it like this. Always, you know... Do not expect to go like straight in when like you would do it with a key. A little bit of a shaking, so not a shaking, but you know, cautiously so that it can go through the plates. Now I push because I want to make sure that the blade is fully in and I open it. This is an ignition lock, straight on the ignition lock. Uh, so now I'm gonna go only on the right side because you know ignition will be turned only on the right side and i will give tension to the right and here i will try with direct opening tension until the third return release tension all the way return release and you can hear the clicks the clicks is the impression working its magic medium amount of tension i apply as i said Tension is the most important thing. And that's it. Now, because I want the code fully imprinted, I will turn it on the turning side all the way to the left and I will shake it left and right to imprint the code nicely and to have the perfect combination. Now, it's time for me to extract. So I cannot extract it like this with this gate being opened and turbo wheel out of nowhere. I want it always in straight neutral position. Hold it. First step, turbo wheel to the right. Second step, a little bit to the left. Third, sometimes people cannot close it. Do it like this, you know, you start to jiggle it a little bit and with the thumb fingers, you simply close it. Fourth final step is turbo wheel to the right. So whenever this is fully closed, not like this, this is not gate closed because the, here now the pins are exposed. Some of the pins are exposed. The moment I try to extract it, it will get stuck. This is fully closed. Push it. And this is fully to the right. And you see it? Because the pins are hidden, there is no coat. And it's safe to extract. Always like this. And you can fully, fully extract. Now, let's read the code. H101 has five depths and here I don't know if it's visible okay this is more okay you simply compare the bottom line of every pin with those horizontal lines this is position one here one two three four and five so this corresponds on the third line this is a three this is way up so it's a five it's a one here and this is between the second and the third, usually between two lines, the co two codes is the upper one. It's a four, it's a three, it's a two, it's a four, it's a one, and it's a two. So simply compare those. Now, in terms of positions, you always start the reading from the side with three pins. So it's gonna be like this. One, two, position one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Just make sure your comparison with the lines is fully accurate. And that's it. Now I'm gonna quickly show the, I'm, quickly sh I'm gonna quickly show another lock. Let's reset again, close, pull it to the right. Again, be cautious how you reset. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, and the four. Check the pins. We're fully reset, we're ready to go. Close, fully to the right. Now, quick reminder, left side driving countries, six holes, right side driving countries, four holes. Here my lock is oriented standard uh, European positioning, so I'll go with the four. It doesn't matter, my lock is not positioned correctly, it doesn't matter again. I'm gonna push it open here i'm gonna go with progressive opening once to the right once to the left once to the right so tension until the first return release tension to the left until the first return release medium amount of tension do not rush it practice on the tension always clean the lock the locks with bd40 it's extremely important let's imprint the code nicely now to extract straight ne neutral position to the right a little bit to the left close fully to the right and here again we have the code compare it with the lines and you have it okay basically that's it this is how uh, you work with uh, HU 101 protocoler, Ford, Rover, Jaguar, and Volvo. Please, uh, I remind you that there is a new lock, HU 101, with nine wafers. This decoder does not operate on it. Keep that in mind. Thank you.